Hi learners, today we are going to study about the second simple permanent tissue in plants called colon crema. Here, this colon crema tissue, it is a simple permanent living mechanical tissue in the plants with the living protoplasm in it. This colon crema, the term is derived from Greek word colon means glue that means the plants containing the glue like elastic tissue like in animals having muscular tissue not that flexible here in plants it is present as an elastic tissue and also gives mechanical support Sclidon in 1839 used the word colon chyma colon chyma where it is located in the plants it is usually locate, located in the hypodermis. Generally, it is found in the hypodermis, that's why we call it as hypodermal origin. That is just exactly below the epidermis, about two to three layers in the plants. And this colon chyma is also present in petiole, that is, stalk of the leaf, pedicel, stalk of the flower. The pedangle stalk of the inflorescence and also it is found in the branches of uh, the plants including the stalk of the flowers and also the fruits everything and especially in the leaf tissue it is present as the extended part of the vascular bundle that's why we call it as bundle sheet and bundle sheet extension like uh, for example this upper epidermis this lower epidermis find vascular bundles uh, vascular bundle sheet uh, and uh, xylem by phloem and uh, between upper and lower epidermis you find there is extended tissue to protect it uh, that is called colon chyma that's why it is called bundle sheet extension and this colon chyma is absent in the roots and also in all the monocot plants because roots doesn't require any mechanical support since they are growing within the soil. Next we come to the structure of the colon chyma. In the transverse section, colon chyma appears uh, with the cells oval or spherical in outline and also it contains the living protoplasm that is a large vacuole in the center with the tonoplast, the membrane of the vacuole and the nucleus and cytoplasm is present on the peripheral zone. Then it is exactly similar to the parenchyma tissue except for only one change that is in parenchyma you find intercellular spaces are empty and without any filling. But here the intercellular spaces are filled with the pectin cellulose and also sometimes hemicellulose so only we call that as the pectocellulosic cell wall in colon chyma and since it is observed in the corners when the cylindrical cells are observed under sectional view in the microscope it appears exactly angular it is completely filled so only we call this type of colon chyma as angular colon chyma example in the stem of tomato, datura, etc., and even potato, very common in the family Solanaceae. Next, up, second type is lacuna colon crema, and here the examples are cucurbita, that is cucumber stem, cucurbitaceae, salvia stem, in the hypodermis only, fine. The same exactly like angular colon chyma, but the inter in intercellular spaces are filled with uh, no doubt pectocellulosic substance, uh, but it leaves a very small gaps here. You can observe these gaps are called lacuna. That since it is a very small and filled area, it appears like a tube, that's why it is also called tubular colon chyma or lacunar colon chyma and then finally lamellar colon chyma or also called platen chyma in this case like in sunflower stem, sunflower stem or heliander stem you find 
there is tangential thickening that's why it is called lamellar thickening lamella means plate like here tangential wall for example if this is the epidermal cells this wall is called tangential wall and this is called radial wall this is radial wall this is tangential wall here tangential thickening is observed that is deposited with a petrocellulosic substance and hence it is called plate and chyma or lamellar colon chyma as observed in sunflower stem hypodermis coming to the functions of the colon chyma it has a vital role in the plants mainly it is involved in mechanical support because it is found in the various parts like the petiole pedicel branches and also it is found as a bundle sheath extension around the uh, but the vascular tissues in plants uh, like in case of dicot leaves and it gives elasticity and flexibility and tensile strength to the plant body like uh, when there is fluttering of the leaves with the wind direction or wind blowing then the leaves won't break because of the presence of elastic tissue that is called the colon chyma and next sometimes in the hypodermis of a very young stem dicot stem there will be presence of chloroplasts then colon chyma also performs a function of photosynthesis rarely it may perform the function of storage of food materials along with parenchyma then finally very important function of colon chyma is uh, at the uh, uh, that is uh, during the secondary growth uh, that is cortical secondary growth uh, it's also called extra stellar secondary growth and at this stage there is formation of phylogen also called corkembium this corkembium the so called phylogen is formed from the hypodermis of dicot stem that initiates the formation of inner tissues and outer tissues and together forms a periderm and in case of dicot stem hypodermis is there and vascular tissues here and this hypodermal originator colon chyma one or two layers will get differentiated into phylogen and it will cut off the cells towards inner side and outer side and the cells that are on the outer side will get uh, sugarized and forms the phylum and the inner layer which is similar to the cortex itself called phylodermal secondary cortex and together all these three forms periderm that is formed as a protective covering in the plants during cortical secondary growth hello learners if you like the video please subscribe and like it thank you